Hey guys, do you want to see a movie featuring grandmothers, werewolves, and girls? Yep. Uh huh. <laughs> if you do, then according to IMDb, Company of Wolves is for you. Hey, Brian, how's that ham? <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, it's pretty macho. Thanks, bro. Oh, uh, yeah. What? Too handsome for you? <laughs> oh, yeah. How's the hams? <laughs> uh, it's good. It's good. Nice. Hams. Can't go wrong. Uh, Brian, Brian, what are you drinking? PBR. PBR. Nice. Pepsi Blue Ribbon. It's the best one because it has a blue ribbon. It means it's one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I am drinking two drinks that I'm sure will mix wonderfully in my stomach. Uh, one is the Dark Matter Horchata Latte. Oh! Uh, and then also, and again, this episode, Four Roses Bourbon. Uh, is that coming? Uh, does that come in a can, Chris? The dark matter, or no, so lately? Uh, they you can do howlers to go. So nice. Yeah, you get one of these guys. Uh, nice. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's pretty it's fancy. Very neat. Oh, by the way, I'm Brian Lee. Uh, in Evanston is <laughs> Chris Ridley. Uh, in Elk Grove Villages. Brand Brand. Uh, Brand Brand. Do you recommend the Company of Wolves? Nope. Christopher, after you're done drinking, do you recommend? I do not. Company? I do okay. not recommend Company of Wolves. <laughs> Brian, do you recommend Company of Wolves? Nay. Neggy? Neggy. <laughs> Neggy. For people who have not seen Company of Wolves, a uh, short summary according to IMDb, a teenage girl in a country manor falls asleep while reading a magazine <laughs> and has a disturbing <laughs> dream involving wolves. Oh, damn it. <laughs> it should have just left it. Uh, falls asleep while reading a magazine. Okay. The end. Uh, and has a disturbing dream involving wolves prowling the woods below her bedroom window. It was just a dream. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. I, I thought of that song repeatedly <laughs> during this movie. <laughs> I assumed it was a dream. I must yeah. have been paying attention. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was laying there, and all of a sudden, it's her with like <clears throat> Angela Lansbury. Her sister's like, I, I just remember it being she's in the bed, and all of a sudden, her sister's dead. I was like, oh, I guess her sister died for some reason. I don't know what's happening. Because all of a sudden she's in the woods and there's a huge doll and a big bear and there's wolves and I, I don't understand what's going on. Pretty much yeah. the entire movie is a dream. I figured it out. You know, I, I assumed I, and at the end, you kind of, you know, definitely at the end, but I didn't, I don't know. I just didn't. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Um, I immediately, uh, when the grandma, cause I have, for, yeah, it goes to this, you, you know, this, uh, back then era, like old timey time. Yeah, and it yeah. goes to, and it shows Angela Lansbury, which, by the way, has any have any of you seen Murder She Wrote? Right, is that the the show that? Yeah, she Murder She Wrote. I've seen. Yeah, back in the day, I've used to see him. Yeah, I've I've never I've seen not. a single episode. What else was she in though? Angela Angela Lansbury. She was in a bunch of stuff in like the fifties and sixties, like a lot of BBC stuff. That's all I really know. And she was in some Disney. Yeah, she like was old uh, school, like old school Disney stuff. Like, yeah, like I think there's uh, it's called bed knobs and broomsticks. I think oh, she was okay. in like then like the seventies. It's a it's actually the good. It's a good Disney. It's not a cartoon. It's one of their live action ones. It's it's not bad. Right, we're a like Mary like we're, ish. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, as soon as it, as soon as she's like, once upon a time, I just felt <laughs> all the life in my body just escape, and I'm just like, fuck, well, here we go. The stories I couldn't follow them. I'm uh, like, uh, no. I, I had no idea what was going on. It's, I wasn't sure if some of the people were actually people in the, oh, excuse me, in the village were in the stories. Is something would happen to the person, but is it actually a vi- the village person? <laughs> oh, and the whining from the girl. When she was like oh. talking to grandma, she's whining. She's like, oh, can't you die too, please? I'm but- and this happens with any movie where they're like, ah, once upon a time, let me tell you the story, especially when it's like a uh, elder telling a story to a kid. Yeah. So, like, she's telling this story and all of a sudden it's like this fan, this, these, these two people who just got married. And then all of a sudden, like the husband disrobes. It's like, okay, so is she telling that part of the story <laughs> to well, this kid? Yeah. Like, oh, and his ding ding was just hanging in there. <laughs> like, oh, and she's like, oh, ding ding. It wasn't quite flaccid, but it was getting there. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's a grower, not a shower. <laughs> but then, um, and so after yeah, the the couple's home, and like she like removes the bed sheet, and there's a porcupine. She goes, yeah. she goes hey, it must have been uh, it must have been your brother's idea for joke. I'm like. Uh, what? Uh, like, <laughs> right. who, who's there? Uh, like, uh, Ari, we, my brother's just getting married. Let's put this porcupine in his bed. It was it's like, like, it's, it's like the, is it British humor, maybe? Mm-hmm. Like, it has women, to be. Yeah. Where men are in women's clothing is like the funniest thing ever. Right. Cause I'm, I'm Monty <laughs> Python. I like my, some of it, you know, Doctor Who, I'm a fan, like that kind of stuff. But like this one, it just, this fell so flat. It was just, ugh. Yeah, I I I think the only parts where I was like, oh, that's cool, were the the werewolf transformations. Yes, okay. it looked like it, they were made out of Twizzlers and they were just getting <laughs> put into wolves. It was awesome. <laughs> that one transformation where the guy starts peeling off his face. The be the first one. Yeah, the first yeah, one. Was, that was badass. That, that was, was and the part where like the, the snout just like shoots out. Right. I was like, that's awesome. That looked, was yeah. It was awesome. really good. Awesome practical effects. That's one of my I that on YouTube. Just the practical effects. Just <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I think that was actually one of my problems with this movie is that it very much feels that like two friends got together. One was like a f- film director, and one was like a special effects like guru. And the special effects guy was like, "Yeah, I got the sweet technique to like do transformations, but I don't have a movie to like you know apply it to." Yeah. And the right. director friend was like, ah, "I can come up with something over the weekend. I'm sure I'll we'll, we'll figure it out." <laughs> and he was just like looking at a copy of Little Red Riding Hood in yeah. the corner. He's like, ah, "Sure, let's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, yeah, yeah. Cause, like, yeah, I agree. Like the transformations are cool, you know, because they're all practical. There's no CG, yeah. but it's not like the the story isn't like cool enough like there's no i don't know well, and they took forever they really did yeah. it, it, they were they were neat but they just that first one was like, like almost three minutes of just him being like Ugh. yeah like, oh. <laughs> andre the giant yeah 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 I'm I'm very tiny teeth. <laughs> <laughs> um that that red-haired girl has the frizziest hair in the world. Yeah. Yeah. The biggest hair for sure. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> member of poison. Yeah. Yeah. Big time. <laughs> oh, there was a car just appeared in the middle of the woods too. Yeah. In one of the that stories. was confusing too. Yeah. yeah. And I would, uh, all of a sudden it just happened. I'm like, is it, wait, is this another story or is this part of the, the actual narrative I mean, of the village? Dude, yeah. I couldn't. Yeah. So, I mean, it was, like that character was supposed to be the devil, which like, okay, fine. But yeah, it was like, the story takes place in the like olden times, everything's horse drawn carriage. And then yeah, a Rolls Royce pulls up with, right. and the driver kind of looks like John Benet Ramsey. And it's like, Oh, that's weird. <laughs> yes, that was just this weird little girl was just driving the car. Yeah. So it was, Ro- it was the actress who played Rose Lane in a blonde wig, but it oh. still was very weird and didn't make any sense. Yeah. I, I, more- Multiple times I have, what is going on? I'm so confused. Yeah. Oh, the part where they like, captured that one wolf in like the real time, well, the dream, whatever. They shot the thing like 30 times. you're in old timey history and stuff like that uh yeah. what was the purpose of the uh ass to waist ratio so the one girl <laughs> the one girl uh she's like has this belt on and i think that i think this is the same girl that's like struggling with like like the three kids um oh, sure. and she like has that belt on but then like her like dress like poofs out like it it was just the the, the fashion of the time it did uh accentuating the parts that men like basically how you said where it poops out more towards like the hips and stuff. Yeah. But I guess it's a childbearing poop. hips. That's why you want your baby or you have babies. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's, put. But that's, that was the point of, yeah, they was to accentuate like the hips and the ass. When uh, the one guy, cause yeah, the one guy, the part of the married couple, he goes off into, into the woods. Uh, uh, the first one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where he, uh, <laughs> they attacked him when he was making water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, yes. <laughs> but then when he returns, like later in the movie, mm-hmm. he comes back and looks like Eddie Vedder, apparently, from Pearl Jam. <laughs> he does. I mean, you 
he gets pissed because there's random kids in his house. He's like, these are my children, <laughs> whore, harlot. <laughs> All these children in my house are right now. <laughs> 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 Which in, yeah, I remember. <laughs> and that scene features a lot of babies crying. Oh, oh yeah. The baby uh, crying way too and he much. has the fucking food in his mouth. I want uh, <laughs> oh I almost barbed. Dude. Yeah, it's like no, I don't need to see a kid like half chewed food falling out of its mouth. Dude, like, no, I was, no, I'm just, watching it at I the mean. table. Natalie's in the kitchen and she hears the baby crying. And I go, ugh. She goes, <laughs> she goes are you saying ugh to a baby crying? I'm like, well, yes, but also, <laughs> but also he's like this, I was like peach cobbler in his mouth or something. It was it's fucking gross. disgusting. I- um, oh, also a common theme throughout this movie is that apparently spinal cords don't exist because yeah, when that husband comes back and like you find out he's part werewolf or whatever, like this, the woman's new husband comes back and like takes an ax to the werewolf, but oh, the yeah. head comes clean off like yes. baseball style. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of uh, head removals in this movie, decapitations, yeah. if you will. Um, yeah. Cause the other one is when the grandma gets bit slapped her head turns into porcelain because that right i was right. Like, and then i'm like i'm like wait is this a dream or, or is this this a story or like, what's happening now so grandmas are be, very fragile uh, at like a, like an hour 26 hour like hour 27 <laughs> around the there <laughs> holy shit okay the I've, the girl or whoever Oh no! It was another dream where it was that priest finds that like half. Oh, the she wolf story. Yeah, the right, amount right. of tears that were just stuck to her face. They yeah, weren't even coming down. It was <laughs> like they like glue, there's like some weird like I don't know, glue or something that looks like tears and just kind of like squirt all over her face. I thought you were going to say just, the amount of tears that came out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> it was like it was weird it was gross yeah, it was yeah it was like corpse paint but with like clear <laughs> gelatin or something. It yeah was exactly just all over it was like, oh no you no watch, thank you. that's that's gonna be a new trend for norwegian black metal <laughs> just clear <laughs> just, dude, just- so some transformations in this movie were pretty pretty cool in my eyes but then on the other hand, there's like that Victorian era dinner scene. Oh, yeah, all the where feet. like the oh. one girl looks at the mirror, it cracks, and then everyone's yeah. like, raw, raw. but then yeah. literally it's just dogs with like yes, caps on. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm and like, it was uh not as cool. Yeah, that was bad. Well, that was that the one where the it was the girl telling the mom that story, and the mom yes. was like, "Oh, whoa, is that? They can't be real. Like, how did you come <laughs> up with that?" And she's like, "Yeah, well, grandma told me it. Ha ha. You, even though you don't like her, whatever." Yeah, and I feel like that story probably made the least sense out of all of them. I'd say so. Are these the same? Like, uh, uh, I don't know what you'd call them, royalty or nobility. Like is that the same from the other stories or like, right. Are these characters yeah. even related? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the women just have giant frizzy hair. So I was like, wait, was that the same woman from the last story or and that one lady that would just like chowing down the on chicken. that? Like, yeah. Yeah. And she's just yeah. like, kept, kept, like gnawing on it. And it was just Ugh. so gross. I was like, Oh, I want you to, you nasty. Like, oh. uh, and that's all I have for notes. I just yeah. <laughs> the I, like, only I wrote it down like six times what's going on. What's going right. on? I was I was so lost through a, like all of it. Yeah, I mean the only other note that I have is at the end when it shows the wolf jumping through the window. Yeah. yeah. And she's like the, um, freaking out. And I'm just like, I was like, okay, so she had a dream about wolves. <laughs> Did the wolves come from her dream? to get her or does she just like live in a like a town that just all of a sudden got infested by wolves like what is going on why is this happening well my note was more about the pan flute that was right next to the window because there was a very brief <laughs> time where i wanted to buy a, a pan flute so oh. <laughs> i'm in that same boat with you yes <laughs> he's yablo and windy creek is proud to present his ocarina renditions of timeless romance classics but that's what I got from that scene. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best part of this whole movie. It was a background yeah. item. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like I was kind of like you guys where this movie is very confusing. Didn't make a whole lot of sense. The ending is also confusing. So I tried to do some like reading into it to, you know, because I just assumed I'm a dumb dumb and like missed something. 
Uh, so this is from Wikipedia. This isn't like, you know, anything too in depth in regards to the end. It describes it as the wolves seem to stream into the real world, breaking into Rosaline's house and gathering outside her bedroom. Uh, Rosaline awakes with a scream as one of them leaps in through the window and sends her toys crashing to the floor, which I think we all got that part symbolizing the end of her childhood innocence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, it's one of those movies. <laughs> yeah, so it's all like, it's all filled with symbology or whatever. What's the symbology there? Symbology? And I'm sure the word you were looking for was symbolism. What is the symbolism there? Yeah, so I thought the same thing. I was like, oh, okay, so this is a movie where like everything represents everything else. Like, okay, it's one of those movies. <laughs> Uh, but then um, uh, the director, Neil Jordan, he didn't want the film to be logical in a linear way, which might have caused problems for some people. I think he's talking about a story within a story, which we agreed <laughs> is story, confusing. Story. Uh, we wanted surreal elements in it and we wanted elements that came out of nowhere because the story is structured around a young girl's dream, which, OK, I think we still like that still makes sense. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Uh, I wanted elements that were as unexpected as things that happen in a dream, a strange reality. They didn't need to actually be symbolic of anything. So basically there's just weird stuff in there to be weird. Just to be weird. <laughs> yeah. So That's, it's a Guillermo del Toro movie. Kind of. <laughs> kind of yeah. Like, I'm not <laughs> because cool. Right. I feel like at least with him, you can just blame it. I'm not blaming. I'm like, oh, that's Spanish culture. You just don't get it. Whatever. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's yeah, that's true. The brown rice. Ooh, it's so, oh, so <laughs> so <strange. exotic. laughs> sombrero. <laughs> <laughs> yes, chips and salsa. <laughs> Ooh, very authentic. <laughs> Hello, Pablo, Miamo, <laughs> Mary. <laughs> That's strange language. What is that? Easy bus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, windows, very scary. <laughs> it's a bus in the windows. <laughs> <laughs> the very brief tangent that I want to go on. But it's just like, it's like that you, you know, you would have those friends that either went to film school or like took like, uh, uh, like film classes in high school and it's just like everything becomes symbolic it's just like there's a red plane it's like ooh, red red is bad it's like no dude it's a fucking chuck norris movie it's just mm -hmm. that's probably all they could afford you know it's just yeah. like, right exactly red way. can sometimes mean red right right you know right, yeah, yeah. it doesn't have some you know deep-rooted uh, meaning towards like the red baron or something like yeah. that you know right yeah oh the original ending which they couldn't do because of you know technological limits at the time but basically so instead of the wolf jumping through the window rosaline was supposed to dive onto the floor of her bedroom but then be like swallowed up by like as if the floor is made out of like water or quicksand uh that doesn't make a whole lot of make a whole lot of sense to me either <laughs> but wasn't was the original there, ending <laughs> wasn't there a character in peewee's playhouse that was like part of the floor yeah, i'm hungry me too me three me four the uh, director neil jordan uh, he notes that canon pushed the concept of the film as primarily a horror film which if you watch the trailer it definitely seems that way right uh he maintains that this is not a horror film and the label might actually be misleading to audiences which i thoroughly agree yeah i think if they would have went more in a horror movie direction i think it would have been better oh mm -hmm. big time because some of the elements were there for this to be a horror it, you know it's a spread it horror. Way. horror movie horror they just spread everything way too thin there's were way too many like this is happening that ended now this is a thing ended it's the story and dream aspect of it got way too convoluted at least for me, that I couldn't almost separate the two. So I, I enjoy The Witch, the movie The Witch. And oh, I feel yeah. like that The Witch is a much better version of this movie. Yeah, Equally The Witch is slow, great. Both take place in like olden times. And, you know, both kind of deal with the idea of like, you know, the evil side of people and yada yada. Uh, but yeah, this movie, not good. The Witch, I would recommend. Very hard accents. Yes. Subtitles kind of required for that movie. <laughs> uh, 
Um, going back to uh, Company of Wolves, uh, Roger Ebert gave the film a three stars out of four. He called it disturbing and stylish attempt to collect some of the nightmares that lie beneath the surface of Little Red Riding Hood. What? Okay. <laughs> I, I did have that thought of like, this seems like someone tried to take the idea of Little Red Riding Hood and make it an hour and a half long. I got that like an hour and 15 minutes in. Yeah. I'm like, oh, now they're going to try Red Riding Hood. Okay, great. Uh, when casting the film, casting director Susie Figgis was initially looking for a girl of around 16 years of age to portray Rosaline. Uh, the writer and director, Neil Jordan, had asked for an older girl so he could make the sexual overtones of this movie more pronounced. <laughs> uh, however, upon seeing the 12-year-old Sarah Patterson's audition, he rewrote parts of the screenplay for her. She was 12. So she's Apparently. 12. Do you guys remember that part at the end? Where the where boy's being one, super pervy? Oh, huh. the guy with the, the, he's like, if I beat you to your grandma's house, you have to give me a kiss. Oh, really quickly. That scene, that yeah. guy, <laughs> it takes him like 10 seconds to say one sentence. You... Oh my God, uh, hurry up. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember like, I'm like, oh, this movie could be just probably over soon. I look at it. It was only 20 minutes in and I'm like, oh yep. no. And now we'll look at the clock again. 30 minutes. It, it, it dragged. Uh, no. Last little fact I'll include. Uh, so for most of the movie, they just used dogs that were painted to look like wolves. I was going to say that <laughs> that's what it looked very, like. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah I'm, like, I'm, like, well, I'm like, why is there a border collie? <laughs> like, uh, there were a, a few scenes, uh, I think mainly towards the end where they did use actual wolves and snipers <laughs> were required to be on set during the filming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All yeah. I can picture is like a scene from like the critic where all of a sudden it's just like the wolves start attacking like the director and you say, ah! <laughs> <laughs> you must never listen to this. Now that we've Ryan, how much more do you recommend this movie? <laughs> I recommend it less. Don't even bother. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, I do not recommend this film. Um, it's advertised as a horror movie. I think even if you Google it, it'll say horror and it is not. No, no for me. I think if you're <laughs> curious about the transformations, just try to find that on YouTube yeah. or whatever, you yeah. know, just to see what it looks like. Don't watch the movie just to see the transformation. Um, I think that will do it for this episode, right? Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, until next time. Boom, boom, <sighs> boom, boom. Thanks for checking out this week's episode. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And most importantly, tell a friend.